Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, you're going to appreciate the beauty of this matrix method for thick lenses. When you start having very large compound systems of lenses, you can imagine trying to calculate geometrically the ray going through all these lenses would be very, very difficult and would take a very long time. Even with matrices, it takes a long time, but at least it's doable, it's possible. Here we have the equation you would have to try to work out. Here this represents the information about the incoming ray, the incident ray on the first boundary. That's why we label it as I sub 1. And here we have the information that we're seeking for the exiting ray going through boundary number 7, transitioning across boundary number 7, the transmit portion of the ray at boundary number 7. And these are all the matrices, the refracting matrices and the transfer matrices we'd have to find in order to solve that particular problem and of course we would have to multiply this one at a time from right to left all the way through to get this result. What we're going to do in this video right here is simply come up with the transfer matrices across all the boundaries. Notice there's four lenses, one, two, three, four, and there's two air gaps. We also have to account for the air gaps. These numbers here represent the thicknesses of the four lenses and the two air gaps in centimeters. There are a total of seven boundaries, and notice we have the indices of refraction of the four lenses. We also have the radius of curvature of the seven boundaries listed right here. And notice, of course, for boundary number five, since it's a flat surface, the radius of curvature in that case would be infinite. We also have the general equation of the transfer matrix from B to A, knowing that we have a zero here, two ones across the diagonal, and on the left corner here we have the thickness of the either lens or air gap divided by the index of refraction of that lens or that air gap. How many transfer matrices are there? Well, there are seven boundaries, and there are six distances to be covered. From one to two, that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we need seven refracting matrices and we need six transfer matrices. So what are they equal to? Well, let's write them down. Starting with the first one, the transfer matrix number one. So this is going from two to one and that's how we label them. Going from two to one, we work backwards here. This is equal to, Notice the three elements are easy. We have a one, a one, and a zero. So that's the easy part of the matrix. They're all one, zero, and one here. And on this element right here, it's simply D divided by N. The thickness of that, which would be 0 0.36, divided by the index of refraction. In this case, it's 1.61. And then, of course, you'd have to work that out. We'll just leave it like this. The transfer matrix going from three to two, that would be through the air gap right here that is equal to, again, they all have the elements 1, 0, 1 over here, and here would be the thickness, 0 0.19, divided by the index of refraction, that'll be 1, assuming it's air. The third transfer matrix, that would be from 4 to 3, that is equal to, and the reason why I do all of them like this is you can see the methodology, and then you get the confidence that this can be quite easily done if you just follow the methodology. So from 4 to 3, that would be this transition right here. So that would be the thickness, 0 0.08, divided by the index of refraction, 1.60. Coming over here, we have our fourth transfer matrix. That would be from 5 to 4. Again, 1, 0, 1, D over N. So that would be the air gap again, 0 0.33 divided by 1. Transfer matrix going from 6 to 5. Again, we have 1, 0, 1. And then over here, where here the thickness here would be 0 0.22 divided by the index of refraction, 1.51. And finally, the transfer matrix, need an equal sign there, that would be from 7 to 6. That's the last boundary right here. Again, we have a 1, 0, 1, and here that would be the thickness of the lens, 0 0.40, divided by index of refraction, 1.59. So that's how you go about it. You first go ahead and find all the transfer matrices, you write those down, and you calculate what these fractions are in each case, the D divided by N, 
And of course, then you need the next set of matrices, which would be the refracting matrices. There are seven of those. And on the next video, we'll show you how to obtain those seven matrices. That's how it's done.